kindergarten and welcome back to another day of foundations with Miss Maynard. First, I want to get started by doing two days day. So yesterday was Monday. Today is what day? It's Tuesday. Yesterday was the 6th. What day is today? The date. It is the 7th, and we are still in the month of April, and we are in the year 2020. So, how am I writing April on my whiteboard? A 4. What date am I writing? Can you guys see it? There you go. What date am I writing? A 7. And what year? 2020. So for today, Tuesday, April 7th, 2020, hi, we're going to get into our large card sounds, then our standard card sounds, and then we're going to work on some CVC words for decoding, and we're going to work a little bit on our long vowel sounds again today, okay? So first things first, let's get started on our large card, large card sounds. Ooh, are you guys ready? All right. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Let's move a bit this way. That's better. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. There we go. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Yes. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Good. Now let's move on to our standard card sounds over here. We're going to start with A, Apple, A. Good. 
Good. Now let's move right along to our words for decoding. As usual, Miss Maynard is going to bring her letters down here so we can spell out our words to tap out, all right? This is our first word. Hands. Let me see those hands. Ooh, where's my hand? Here it is. Ready? M A P M A P. One more time. M A P M A P. Good. M A P M A P. One more time. M A P M A P. Good job. Our next word is going to be this word. Hand. Let me see those hands. Ready? Ooh. Ah. D. Lad. One more time. Ooh. Ah. D. Lad. Good. Uh, ah, d, lad. One more time. Uh, ah, d, lad. Good. Our next word is going to be S-O-B. Ready? And. And. S-A-B. Sob. One more time. S-A-B. Sob. S-A-B. Sob. One more time. S-A-B. Sob. Good. Our next word is going to be R U G. All right, hands. And we're going to go R A G. Rug. One more time. Er, a, g, rug. Good. Er, a, g, rug. One more time. Er, a, g, rug. Good. And our last word is going to be. Ooh. Not bug, but E U S. Ready? Hands. Let me see those hands. Ready? B, A, uh, S, bus. One more time. B, A, uh, S, bus. B, A, uh, S, bus. B, A, S, bus. Now, we're going to move on to our long vowel sounds. We're going to make a few words here, and we're going to talk about the sounds that each word makes. So remember we talked about how if there's an E at the end, the vowel will say its name. So for example, if I have M, a, d, and I add an e at the end. Oops. It's no longer m mm, a d like that, but it's m mm, a d made. So the e at the end lets the vowel say its name. Now. Today, we're going to continue talking about how if you add another vowel after the first vowel, 
that first vowel will still say its name. So if I do m, mm, a, d, it's m, mm, a, d, because we have a second vowel in the word. So that makes the first vowel say its name. So we have m, mm, a, d. Let's try with another word. So let's say we have Let's use our card. Let me write down these. So mad made mad made, right? Because if another vowel is in the word, then the first vowel says its name. So let's use our standard card sounds to practice long vowel sound. Let's say we have the word d, right? So this is our first word. We have u, e, d. You can see that? U, e, d, lead, right? Now the rule goes if you add another vowel after the first vowel, then this vowel will say its name. So if I move this over and I add an A, this vowel makes the first vowel say its name. So this would be L. What's the long sound for this? If you said E, you're correct. You're correct. So this would be L. E. D. Right? L -eed. lead. See that? Now, what if, let's make this a little bit more challenge, a little bit more challenging. What if we had this word? Oops. We have Q U, right? I and T. So we have qu, e, t, quit. One more time, we have qu, e, t, quit. Right? Now, what if I add this vowel? The e at the end makes the vowel say its name, right? So we have qu, i, t, quite. We have qu, i, t, quite. Now, what if I give you guys this word? Hold on. What if Miss Maynard gives you this word? So let's put these back. And let's do this, this, and this. Let's tap that out really quickly. K -a -t, cut. One more time. K -a -t, cut. Now what if I move this over and I put another vowel in here? Remember, if there's another vowel in the word, the first vowel says its name. So we have k, o, t, coat. K, o, t, coat. You see that? That's the same way we did. M, mm. A, D, made. M, mm. A, D, made. So, two rules we've learned.
learned so far. If there is an E at the end, the vowel will say its name. And if there's another vowel in the word next to the first vowel, the first vowel says its name. We're going to continue to practice this a little bit more moving on next week. So don't worry if you're not too sure about it, okay? Let's get into, here we go. Oops. All right, so I have skyline, grass line, and down at the bottom, I have the worm line, okay? So what I'm going to do is if I'm using worm line, I will push it down a little like this. If I'm not, I'll just stay up here by skyline, okay? Is that okay with you guys? Thank you. So the first letter, the first letter we're going to do is lower case T. Now, T is a skyline letter, so it starts on the skyline. That's right. We're going to point to the skyline. Go down to the grass line and cross it on the plane line. T top t. Erase. Erase. Next letter we're going to do is lower case S. Okay? So S is a plain line round letter. It starts on the plain line, just like the letter C. So we're going to point to the plain line, trace back and curve in. Oops, it's made, I made a mess. Let's erase, try that again. We're gonna point to the plain line Trace back and it curves in and goes back again and lands on the grass line. S snake s. Erase. You guys are going to go to the next line. We're going to be doing lower case R. R is a plain line letter. It starts on the plane line. Good. We're going to point to the plane line, go down to the grass line, trace back up to the plane line, and make a little curve. R, rat, er. Good job. Next, we're going to be doing Lower case K. Lower case K. Okay. So K is a skyline letter. So are we going to be pointing to the plane line? No. We're going to be pointing to the skyline. So point to the skyline. Go all the way down to the grass line. Then you're going to point to the plain line and leave a space. So we're going to leave a space. Then you're going to slide over and touch your tall line like that. And then you're going to slide back to the grass line like that. K kite. Let's do that one more time. K is a skyline letter. It starts on the skyline. You're going to point to the skyline. Go all the way down to the grass line. Point to the skyline and leave a space. Slide over and touch your tall line. And slide back to the grass line. K, kite. Last one, we're going to do lowercase j. 
Now, J is a plain line letter. It starts on the plain line. I'm going to move my board up because J is going to touch our worm line. Okay? So we're going to point to the plain line. Go all, oops, go all the way down to the worm line and make a curve. Then we're going to add a dot. J, jug, j. J, jug, j. So once again, we're going to point to the plain line, go all the way down to the worm line, and make a curve. Add a dot. J, jug, j. Now, let's get into writing a few words. We are going to write some of the words that we've worked on today, okay? So the first word we're going to write is mop, okay? And I'm going to leave this here because I know one of these letters is going to end up on the worm line. So mop, we're going to tap that out really quickly. M, A, P, mop. So first, we're going to do mmm, mmm, this is our M, mmm, next is A, A, O, O, good, lastly, E. So this line is going to go all the way down to the worm line. Then we're going to point to the plain line and curve around to the grass line. Just like that. M, A, P, Mop. Very good. Let's erase. Our next word is going to be bus. So let's tap that out really quickly. B, a, s, bus. So we're going to start with B, B, B. And our B starts on the skyline. All the way down to the grass line. B. Next, we have a, a. U. Good. And come back up. And then we're going to go down. Just like that. Uh. Our last word is s sound. Our last sound is s. That is an S. We just worked on S today. B, a, s, bus. Good job. Now, while Miss Maynard is erasing on her whiteboard, I'm sure you guys are moving down to another line or making a space, yes? Good job. Our next word is going to be kit. So let's tap that out really quickly. A -t kit. Now let's remember if there is an I sound after the K, what letter would we use? A K. So we're going to start with K, which is one of the letters we just practiced today again. So we're going to start on the skyline. We're going to come down to the grass line, point to the skyline, and leave a space. Slide over and touch your tall line. Then slide back and touch the grass line. So we have k. Next is i, 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 i. I. Last, we have t. 
see another one we practiced today. So we're going to start at the skyline, go down to the grass line, cross it at the plane line. It kit. Now, what if Miss Maynard puts this letter right here? Hmm. What do you think this word is? Remember, if there's a vowel, another vowel in the word, the first vowel says its name. Yes? If there is another vowel in the word, the first vowel says its name. So this one has an E at the end. If there's an E at the end, this I is going to say its name, yes? So we have K, I, T, right? K, I, T. What do you think that word is? Let's speed it up. K, I, T, K, I, T, Kite. Kite. Very good. Next. Let's do the word rat. Rat. Let's tap that out. R -a -t. Rat. I'm going to do that one more time. R -a -t. Rat. So we have R. That's an R, right? R. Think of her. Next, we have a. Ah. A. Ah. That's right. A. A. Last, we have t. That is a T. Good. Er, a. Ah. Rat. Now, what if Miss Maynard adds this at the end? What word is that? Remember, if there's another vowel in the word, the first vowel says its name. So we would have R A. Rate. R -a -t. R-A-T. Good job. Lastly, I want to do the word lead. L-E-D. Let's tap that out together. L-E-D. Lead. So we're going to start with and L is pretty simple. You just point to the skyline and you go down to the grass line and stop right there. L. Next is E. 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 Lastly, we have D. D, D, lead, D, 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 good. D. Oops. D, D. So we have L, E, D, lead. L, E, D, lead. Now, what if Miss Maynard Get rid of this one. And if you want to write this word, since I'm erasing a letter like that, you can just write the L and E on another line. And then I'm going to add a and D. Oops, 
be. What do you think this word will be? If I added an A. So now we have L-E-A-D. What is a rule? If there's a vowel, then the first vowel says its name. If there's another vowel in the word, the first vowel says its name. So will this be saying eh? No, this will be saying e. So we have l, e, d. L, e, d. Lead. L, e, d. Lead. Like leading a line. Awesome job today, guys. Great, great work. Go check out ELA with Miss G. Then take a little break, maybe have some lunch, and then go do some math with Miss Shema, okay? Awesome job today, guys. Thank you guys for the great work that you are doing. I see you, I hear you, I see your videos. You are doing great. Great, great job. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.